Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll explain the biggest differences between Gmail and G Suite. Well, G Suite has been renamed to Google Workspaces now, but anyway, in the end of this video I'll tell you why I choose to pay for the G Suite, although I'm working alone in my business. A bit like this guy. Sweat punch. So in my view there are six key differences, that's price, custom domain, user management, ads, privacy and customer support. So first things first, Gmail is free and G Suite or Google Workspace plans start from $6 a month. Okay from now on I'll just call G Suite Google Workspaces, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. So what do you get for the money? Maybe some extra features? Well, not really. You do get more storage space and you can host video calls with 100 people, but the tools you get in Google Workspace are the same as with the G Google account. So if you have Gmail, you also have Google account. It's a bit confusing, right? Well, I have a few minute video. It will appear here somewhere on top. I'll explain the differences between Google account, Gmail and G Suite if you need to get your head around it. So Google Workspace comes with standard stuff like Google Calendar, Drive, Docs, meets and so on. There are some extra features with the higher plans such as Cloud Search and Google Vault, but I think these are mostly useful for bigger companies. So on the surface they look the same. So why would you pay for this? Well here's the thing, Google Workspace is designed for businesses and Gmail for personal use. Right Arnie? Who are you? The biggest difference is that with Gmail you get an email that ends with gmail.com, which is fine for personal use, but if you are a business then you want to look a bit more professional and trustworthy by having an email that has your domain. So for example instead of having an email like mybusiness at gmail.com you would have robert at mybusiness.com. It just looks so much better to the receiver when they get an email from company's domain and not gmail. It's like if your friend brings two cups of coffee, one from Starbucks and one from Buckstar Coffee, which you will trust more. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Now, I do want to mention that you can use a custom domain with Gmail with some email forwarding and aliases. Basically, you would send a reply from personal Gmail, but whoever receives the email, they see it as if you are sending it from your domain. But from personal experience, emails that are forwarded are more likely to end up in spam folder with other emails like this. I need some money immediately. Money? This is not a bank. I know. I'm not going to go into the details, but if you Google for why email forwarding is bad, and you'll get multiple forums and articles discussing this. But if you're using the email with your domain for personal use, or you are the only one in the company, then you should be okay with Gmail and the email forwarding. And I even have a video showing you how to set it up. The YouTube card should appear somewhere here on top. The third difference is that with Google Workspaces, you have control over who has access to account and with what permissions. So you could have a freelancer joining the team and you don't want the person to be able to delete files in your Google Drive. You can just restrict this person's permissions to just view and edit. And if you have multiple people in the company, the user management will come in handy as people come and go, but you want to still keep all that data inside your company. With Gmail, you can't do this. Gmail accounts are personal and it's a hassle to hand them over. All the data is contained with that personal account. I hope that makes sense. Like no, God! This also leads me to the fact that you can scale your company with workspaces. Now, you can go uh, around it with Gmail with one or two people in the organization, but beyond that, it just gets so messy with more people. At that point, you just need accounts that can be managed uh, separately from one place. The fourth reason is simply that since you are paying for Google Workspace, there are no annoying ads. In Gmail, you can see that there are always some ads in your inbox. Now, to be honest, they're not too much in your face right now. So my brain, for example, just completely ignores them. But basically, this just means that Google gathers a lot of data about you to show these ads in Gmail. The next reason is better privacy. Now, I'm not a privacy expert, but from the research I did, it does seem that since you're paying for the service, Google doesn't have the same rights to your data. So your business data is secure and confidential, and there are strict security and privacy policies. 
I think this is a concern for a lot of people, so this should put your mind at ease. I understand, it is not pleasant to lose privacy. One becomes accustomed to its use. The last difference is that you actually get customer support with Google Workspace. So if you have questions or you get in trouble, you have somebody on Google's side that can help you. With Gmail, if you, anything goes wrong, you're pretty much on your own. Oh yeah, and as a cool bonus, instead of Google logo, you can add your own logo to the interface of Workspace. Woohoo! So why do I choose to pay for Google Workspace when Gmail is okay as a solopreneur? Well, it's just so much easier and it saves me a lot of time in the long run. Also, this means I have one place for all my business communication. I've actually had G Suite email from the beginning of my company, even if uh, I'm the only one in it. And I just feel like it's worth the investment and you can deduct uh, this as an expense in your bookkeeping. I just can't be bothered with the hassle with Gmail. I'm always trying to think in long term and how can I save more time. My name is Robert and I'm your website guy. If you're looking to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you get notified about the new website tutorials. And if you think that you need Google Workspaces, then check out this video right here. I will show you how to sign up and set everything up and get your first email in Workspaces in about 15 minutes. And in the second video right here is brought to you by YouTube's recommendation engine. Oosh!